Okay, Snackmaster B, back with you. Nom nom. Okay, just got back from the US on quarantine for a couple weeks and I uh, thought I'd whip up a couple things with just stuff that's available in the pantry. So we're gonna make focaccia bread with some, some herbs and it's really easy to, easy to do. So some of you might not have done much with yeast and flour, uh, but this is one of those things that Snackmaster has to follow the directions. So exact measurements, this focaccia bread is really delicious and uh, you, it's really easy to do. It doesn't take too long, most of the time just sitting and waiting, drinking wine, while you let the, the bread and the yeast do its thing. First thing we gotta do is we gotta activate the yeast. Yeast needs sugar, and then it'll get all nice and foamy, and that's what gives you the, uh, uh, the leaven in the bread and gets it to rise. So you need your water. Water's gotta be pretty warm, about 110 degrees for the yeast to activate. So we start with a couple teaspoons of sugar, um, and that's uh, one and a third cups of uh, hot water. Drop our sugar in. Uh, then we need uh, two teaspoons of activated dry yeast. There we go. There we go. Now we're just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. And what we'll end up with, you can see it's already starting to activate and get all nice and foamy and frothy. And uh, we'll give that about 10 minutes to get doing its thing. And then we'll start adding our other ingredients. Okay, I got my uh, stand mixer all ready to rock and roll here. And you can see the, uh, uh, the yeast and the sugar and the warm water has activated the yeast and got it all ready to go. So we'll just drop our, uh, our uh, stand mixer in there and I got the dough, uh, dough ring on. And we're just gonna kick it on to uh, low for now. And then we're gonna add our flour and some salt. Uh, don't worry about trying to keep up with the ingredients. I'll, uh, I'll post the, all the ingredients after. So we're gonna do uh, three and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna slowly add that in. Make sure your measurements are good. It's good to me. So that's a couple cups so far. We'll add in the oil. Like I said, this is a pretty simple recipe. And to make the bread is really good. And we're gonna drop some salt on top of it and a few other herbs on top of it, uh, just to kind of add to the flavor. It'll bake up nice and brown. It's good to dip in uh, some uh, olive oil and, and uh, balsamic vinegar as well. So we're gonna add some of this sea salt here. This is flaky Greek uh, sea salt. And I tell you, like a lot of different salts, depending on what you're gonna add in, lots of salts taste taste different. Some are really, really salty, uh, saltier than others, and affect different recipes. So you always just want to grab a little bit, have a taste. Mm. Oh my God, that's good salt. So we're gonna add a couple teaspoons in that. Well, we got this on, still on low for the moment. A little bit more for shits and giggles. Okay, so I'm gonna add a bit, a few herbs to this, really nothing Spectacular, I've got some uh, tablespoon of uh, dried rosemary. Again, we're uh, locked down on uh, voluntary quarantine because we just came back from the US and this whole coronavirus thing is kicking our arses. So doing what we're told. Also got a tablespoon of uh, granulated garlic we'll dump in there. We don't want to take too much away from the bread so we're just taking it easy on the herbs. Got a teaspoon of thyme. I ain't got no thyme for that. Not a thyme lover, so I'm not putting lots of that in. And then we'll just let that knead for a little bit. Uh, once it starts to take away from the sides, which pretty close, we're gonna speed it up. That... All right, it's been about an hour. Oh, check that out. So doubled in size. Uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour just on the counter. And this gravy flour works pretty good, just so it doesn't stick. And we'll just dump this back out. Oh, look at that beautiful goodness. So we're just, we're not gonna beat the hell out of this or anything. We're gonna take a little bit of flour in this rolling pin, and we're gonna just roll it out just a little bit till it's about, uh, about an inch thick, maybe a little bit less. This one's a marble one, so it's weighted pretty good. I don't have to press down at all. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, uh, roll that out, and then I'm just going to, uh, just like that, I'm gonna cover it with some plastic rack with a little bit of a, a, a non-stick spray, 
and so the, the uh, saran wrap doesn't stick. Um, we're gonna let it rise another 20 minutes. It'll come back up again. We'll transfer it to this bad boy, and then in the oven. Nummy! Looks good so far though. Whoop, whoop. Okay, it's been about uh, 20 minutes since we rolled it out. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. You can see I threw a bit of cellophane on the top, just a little bit of the uh, nonstick uh, spray on there. So now we're gonna transfer this bad boy over onto this cooking sheet. Gently, carefully. I don't wanna get all the air out of it, so we'll just drop it on. Not the prettiest, oops. Could have done better there, but that's all right. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna poke a bunch of holes in it. And uh, uh, for uh, my grandson, pew, 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 pew. Make sure you get right to the bottom, pew, 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 pew. Make sure you get, don't worry about it, just at random, poke a few holes, and make sure you get to the bottom. We're just making, we're actually not making holes, we're making dents. There we go. So. Uh, Pretty random, still got lots of air in there, looking good. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top. Just as evenly as we can, nothing, nothing uh, scientific about this, just, just a little bit here and there. Okay, that looks good, that looks really good. So, um, I don't have any fresh garlic, because we're in quarantine, so can't go out. But I got some granulated garlic, we'll put some of this uh, on top, just to add a little bit more flavor. And then here's that uh, cypress flakes, the sea salt I was talking about. Like, look at the granular and there's flakiness there. And this salt is so good and so flavorful. Um, so we'll just sprinkle on a little bit of that here and there. And we've already got some rosemary and some thyme inside. We're on quarantine, slow down hey, easy, with the salt. Easy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, it's quarantine, quarantine. We can't go get more salt. Oh yeah, okay, anyways. <laughs> And uh, I thought, ah, just put it up. I've got no dry basil. So I'm just digging out of the pantry and I thought, well, not a lot of flavor, but it'll make it look prettier. So uh, this is parsley. So I've got some dried parsley. Uh, might have to get somebody that's uh, out in the boot still and to help us out with a few supplies. But uh, you know, the biggest thing, stay home, stay home, cook at home. There's stuff in the pantry, figure it out, make stuff at home, hunker down. Delicious, and uh, as Mrs. Snackmaster said, wash your hands. So it's happy birthday to Snackmaster Ben. Happy birthday to Snackmaster Ben. Do that two times, 20 seconds. Good scrub, nice and vigorous. Hot water, best thing you can do. This is gonna be really good. We're gonna throw it in the oven. The oven's preheated, 400 degrees, four, four, four count. We'll get that in the oven. It'll brown up just beautifully. And then we'll uh, dip it in some balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. Nom nom. Stay at home, cook at home. Look at this bread, doesn't that look delicious? So Snack Master's giving me a hand, Mrs. Snack Master rather. Nice and it's still hot. Oh, that looks so good. I just uh, turned it on the broiler just for a second, right at the last, just to kind of brown up the top a little bit. Um, Mrs. Snack Master's cutting that. We'll add some balsamic vinegar. And some lovely olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Can I have a taste of that, missus? Oh, it's nice and hot still. Oh, I better have a bite. Better have a bite. Mmm. Let's have a bite of that. Mmm. 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 OMG. Oh my god, that's good. Okay. That is good. On to something here. <laughs> that's really good. Okay, people. Now's your chance. Stay at home if you can. Don't go out unless it's absolutely necessary. Get the family in the kitchen. Get together. This is the time to hunker down, be with your family, cook some good meals, and get back in touch. And wash your hands.